guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jane Lawrence and I'm that media girl. Now, growing up as a child, I often heard the phrase Nigeria is the giant of Africa and every time I heard that, what comes to mind is the fact the world larger than life itself. We've got numerous natural resources, fantastic landscape, breathtaking tourism and hospitality and not to mention the multi-talented people from different tribes and culture. But as insanely rich as Nigeria is, she so well is deeply in poverty and penury and the mind-boggling question is why? Why are we still here? You would say bad governance, corrupt politicians looting money here and there. But I would say, don't you think just maybe we are the problem? The fact that we're not holding accountable the government, the fact that we've gotten so comfortable with the mentality of suffering and smiling, the fact that we're not demanding for the life till we get results, the life that we truly deserve. Because with a population of over 200 million people, I can count by hand how many rich people we have. Growing up, I knew that we had like three categories of people. We had the rich, the poor, and the middle class. But now it seems as if we have just the rich and the poor with the middle class going under the radar. Do you want to argue with me on that? Because if you're constantly borrowing money, months and months, time and time again, to fund your business, you're poor. If you're constantly trying to make ends meet, you're poor. If you do not have a job, you're poor. If you have just one source of income, you're poor. If your salary can't take you through to the end of the month, you're poor. So what are we saying? Let me bring in a case study of South Sudan, Omar Abashir. He ruled for 30 years, plunging the economy further down into poverty. The people got tired and demanded for a more civilian rule. Albeit compromising, they got it. What I'm saying is, Nigerians, we complain behind our phones, we do not talk, and then we're just comfortable. You would say, Jane, oh, you're beginning to sound like a broken record. This is something that we've talked about time and time again. I really don't care, you know why? Because recently I visited a place that I really never thought existed in Nigeria. It's called Almat Farm. And goodness me, that's a privately owned business. Enough of talking. Look at the video. Look at the video. And tell me, we're going to be 60 in two months. We're still in this level. And you don't think we have a problem? They say a fool at 40 is a fool forever. We're going to be 60, 60 in two months. What are we? Take a look. Almat Farm is set in a beautiful rolling green belt countryside of Kuje, an outskirt of Abuja. It is a sight to behold, an epitome of agro-tourism in Nigeria, where innovative farming integrates with hospitality, recreation and lifestyle. When you think you've gotten enough of the hustling and bustling in the city of Abuja and you need a getaway, Almat Farm offers you that space to relax and rejuvenate. It will interest you to know that this farm sits on over 40 hectares of landscape where polo, horse riding, football, 
hiking, snooker, quad bike riding are but a few spotting activities that could keep you pretty engaged while on the farm. But then we've had the stables and the big houses for over two years. Three houses as well. of coronavirus causing a lot of chaos on emerging markets and developing countries that we will take into consideration more seriously the concept of looking inwards buying our own building our own 
planting our food because if we keep going on like this we will have nothing to show for to the next generation and they will come suffer much more than we have suffered and hate us for not fighting securing the future is that what we want independence is just around the corner how old are we again we're 60 what have we achieved I don't know but I leave you to ponder on that until next time